My name is Bruce Peake. I'm a driver for TriMed. I work on the Rural Garage. I want to say at the start that I do not speak for TriMed. I do not speak for TriMed management in the way, shape, or form. And uh, so I uh, do not hold myself up as a representative of ATU. I will say very briefly, and just to kind of make short so people can get out of here, I do agree with, and I think we said if we agreed with, with or supported the comments earlier with local folks, uh, we should say so, and that basically is what I'm going to say. You have, I have one final item. Um, recently, the media, Mr. McFarland, was quoted as saying we made $27.64 an hour. The last paycheck I got says $25.13. That's not the same. I wish people would just please get back to what really is going on rather than what might happen in the future if an arbitration is partially or fully or left or right or up or down or some magical way implemented. We need to deal with the facts. This is starting to divide the community. It would be really, really good if we did not practice a method of informing people that is derivative of people over the court going and have continued to publish inaccurate, dishonest portrayals. They never even bothered to do the fact checking on how large buses are. After the tragic death of people downtown a few years ago, they continuously told people the buses weigh 16 tons. Every bus in the fleet has two signs in front of standing and they weigh 40 tons. They don't even fact check their stuff. And I would appreciate it if we were held to a higher standard than those folks. They're trying to solve papers and inflame people. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Appreciate it.